Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CLNT. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think it has a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Absolutely monster move today. Not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and the biggest volume this chart has had in a very long time. Sure, volume has dropped off you know, from the first you know, opening 30 minutes, but all in all, still a very uh, volatile stock. And you know what I wanna do is just kind of map out some overall levels of support and resistance to keep an eye on as uh, you know the week unfolds given it's only monday today so the first level that stands out is where the bleeding finally stopped on this overall pullback and that was right here at six dollars and forty cents you can see you know from the peak where it was until it fell all the way down there that is where the bleeding finally stopped so that's where enough bulls finally showed up uh to say all right bears you know you've pushed down the price enough we're not going to let you push down any further and that's where right there again, $6.40 comes into play. So that'll be definitely the, the near term level of support going into uh, tomorrow. If that level cannot hold, then after that next level from a technical perspective, not until just simply where it opened up today, and that's down there at the $5.70 area, give or take a few pennies. So now if the if 640 does not hold, am I saying it's shooting straight down to 570? I'm not gonna say that, but I will say that, you know, this is not some sort of like secret discovery on my part here at $6.40. There's gonna be a plenty of people watching that level, shorts included, where if the price does break through there, you know, their uh, you know, trade plan in, in some form or another is gonna be, hey, it could very well fall down there to the 570 mark and create a you know a, a profit for them. So am I saying that that's what's gonna happen? I'm not saying that, I'm just saying that 640 is a very important level and again, this is not, I don't wanna come across like I've discovered some secret level, no. A lot of people have taken notice of this level and will be watching it tomorrow. What about areas of resistance? As for levels of resistance, shorter term one, I'm gonna call right here at about $7.15. But really the big one that stands out to me from an overall sense is right up here at $7.80. Yeah, I realize the price did break through it temporarily, but I think we can all agree a, a big point of price congestion right around here. There's a bunch of highs and opens and such that were all right around that mark right up there. So yeah, it got up to you know right around $8.25, but before we start talking about you know breaking through $8, that first bridge that definitely needs to be crosses again right up there at the $7.80 mark. So crazy move today, a lot of liquidity, a lot of uh, volatility in it. So we'll see how this one continues to trade and unfold. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.